What's up guys, it's Coach JB and today we're looking at one of the most overlooked programs in all sports performance, ankle prehab. Ankle injuries are the number one injury in basketball so make sure that you get this put into your program as soon as possible. Alright, so just jumping into this, ankle circles will be done first. We do everything with a basketball so this way we can multitask. Understand that this is not supposed to be done at a high intensity. We're just trying to make sure that we take care of our ankles and build up the muscles around it. All right. We also want to use sports specific movements like lunges. All right. And make sure that your athletes don't have their shoes on when they do this. Shoes are designed to stabilize the ankle and make sure that they don't move. So we want to make sure that they have those shoes taken off so this way they get full range of motion and they're working on all of those muscles. Now please remember while you're going through these exercises, you are not trying to go fast. You want to be slow and controlled. That's what makes your muscles work. All right. If you look around the ankle, you can see all the stabilization going on with those muscles. That's what we want to see. So make sure that your athletes are going through slowly and controlled and make sure that their muscles are working. Continuing with the range of motion, there are four different other variations that we'll go through. There's three different types of squats, the wide stance, the regular stance, and then we'll also go through and do a narrow stance. Now understand you don't have to do all of these in the same session. You can break these up, you can split them up, or you can use them at different sessions so this way you keep your athletes fresh. Same thing goes with the clock touches. You don't have to do this in the same session. The majority of the time, prehab lasts at a max five to 10 minutes. We just want our athletes working on regularly. Now the next part, the box hop and any other hop that you do, Notice that when I do this, I'm not jumping quickly from line to line. These are not quickness drills. These are balance drills. You want to tell your athletes to stick the landing. Something as simple as just counting the one after each landing will help with that. Now understand you do not have to do every single one of these exercises every time. You can come up with your own routine, but make sure that you put this into your programming. Remember the ankle injury is the number one injury and this is going to help prevent that. Until next time, remember work hard, work smart, work consistent, and keep your mind where your feet are.